โตเกียวเวิร์นพาราพาวเวอร์ลิสติ้งเวิร์นคัพซึ่งจะจัดขึ้นระหว่างวันที่3ถึงวันที่9เดือนพฤษภาคมพศ2564นี้การแข่งขันครั้งนี้มีนักกีฬาเจ้าหน้าที่และผู้ฝึกสอนประเทศประกอบไปด้วยเบนินจอร์เจียอินโดนีเซียอิหร่านอิรักมาเลเซียสาธารณรัฐคาซัคสถานตุรกีและประเทศไทยถึงการจัดการในขณะนี้จะเป็นไปด้วยวันยาลงบาทและการที่ทุกประเทศเดินทางมาร่วมกันการแข่งขันทั้งที่เต็มไปด้วยอุปสรรคอย่างมากมายในสถานการณ์ปัจจุบันแต่ผมเห็นว่าทุกๆคนที่มาร่วมกันในขันทั้งนี้มีความมุ่งมั่นและมีความพยายามอย่างมากเพราะผลการแข่งขันมีผลต่อการได้สิทธิ์เข้าร่วมการแข่งขันพาราลิมปิกเกมนากรุงโตเกียวประเทศญี่ปุ่นผมขอให้นักกีฬาเจ้าหน้าที่ผู้สอนของทุกประเทศจงโชคดีประสบความสําเร็จจากการแข่งขันในครั้งนี้และที่สาคัญปลอดภัยจากการแพร่ระบาดของโรคโควิดสิพร้อมทั้งขอพร้อมมือทุกคนปฏิบัติตามมาตรการของประเทศไทยในการป้องกันโรคโควิด -19 เราจะก้าวข้ามปัญหาต่างๆไปด้วยกันขอบคุณครับ After its debut as weightlifting in the Tokyo 1964 Paralympic Games, the sport, now known as powerlifting, expanded from just male lifters with a spinal cord injury to include athletes with physical impairments that affect their lower limbs or hips, or athletes with short stature. Female powerlifters made their Paralympic debut in 2000. Powerlifting is the ultimate test of upper body strength, and you'll often see athletes lifting more than three times their own body weight. Powerlifters are split into 10 different categories based on body weight for each gender. Powerlifting consists of one discipline, a bench press. Unlike the able-bodied sport where athletes use their feet on the floor to assist the bench press, Paralympic athletes lie totally flat on a completely different style of bench. Each competitor has two minutes to complete their attempt. When the lifter has the bar under full control, they must wait until they receive the command, start. Then they have to lower the bar in a controlled manner and definitively stop it on the chest. Next, they press it upwards, lock out both elbows simultaneously and hold the bar under control until the referees command to wrap. At least two white lights are required from three referees for a good lift. A red light indicates a bad lift. Athletes have three attempts and the winner is the athlete that lifts the heaviest weight. In the third round, two weight changes are permitted. The weight change can be higher or lower. No changes are allowed if the lifter has already been called to the platform by the speaker and or if the bar has already been loaded. To attempt a new record, it must exceed the previous one set by a minimum of 0.5 kilograms. Where a world record is broken during the actual three lifts of competition, the 0.5 kilograms does not count towards the competition total but is rounded down to the full kilogram. The jury may allow a fourth attempt for a world record. This adds suspense to the competition, as a lifter could break the world record, but may not win gold. Powerlifting offers a tense and dramatic spectacle, where coaches have to be good strategists as their athletes battle to uplift their rivals. Oh, I saying everything okay over there, is it? Yeah, and then... Oh, I can hear now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was saying, is the microphone fine? That, that's fine. That's on and fine.
Hello and welcome to Bangkok. Welcome to leg three of five in the power powerlifting World Cup. My name is Peter Selby and I'll be bringing you this live stream commentary throughout the course of the next three days. And the competition's getting underway midway through the afternoon here in Bangkok. If you're watching the live stream wherever you are in the world, then a very good afternoon from here in Bangkok. And our first athlete on stage, Apparat Nangnong in the category of up to 54 kilograms. Starting today with up to 49, up to 54 and up to 59 all in one. So they'll be chopping and changing between the categories. Sixty kilograms on the bar. And we're starting with a good lift. What a way to start the competition. A good lift. Green lights on, flashing around the arena. So a white out to start with. Walking out Boomlong, who's in the same category, also from Thailand, plenty of Thai athletes obviously here in Bangkok. And he'll be lifting 70 with his first attempt. One of the many youngsters in the Thai team, just in a junior competition. No leaf there for Nang Nong. So Boom Long goes backstage. Let's try and sort out the issues with his first lift. First uh, look at the up to 49 kilogram category. Nagal Pacha, again of Thailand. Just the two athletes in the up to 
49 kilogram category. 70 is first attempt. Still a teenager. This will actually be a personal best. Very confident. And a good lift. And a polite smattering of applause around the arena as well. And I think for the foreseeable future, Nagol Pacha will be breaking his own personal best almost with every lift. 70 kilograms seemed very easy. Wrong. Ninety kilograms. His first lift, a very measured lift. No lift. Chest sequence. Maybe not down onto the chest. Got a very good position here, actually, from the commentary uh, area. Almost straight on with the lifters, which is a fabulous position for para powerlifting. And I don't think that there was a... Uh, A visible bar then onto the chest. I think it was actually slightly earlier. So even though it appeared to be quite an easy lift, it didn't match up to all three, in fact, of the referees. So a strikeout in his first. And he will need to be careful, even though there's just the two athletes, Nagel Pacha, with ease at 70. So Bukron will have to be aware, even though his first lift is 90. And now because of the three divisions, again, chopping and changing, to the men's 59 for the first time. And Ali Al Daraji of Iraq, who have a, a number of athletes here. Eight, in fact. Lifting at 59, has lifted at 65 to some success, third in the World Championships, Kazakhstan. 
than the PB. 193 at that weight. So 138, substantially below that. A two time Asian para game gold medalist. Against uh, some decent opposition in this category, only the three, but it'll be fairly close. All the top three struggling to extend his arms. And that will be a no lift. No lift for Ali Aldaraji. Back down to 54, and it will be the third of the three athletes to attempt their first lift, and by far the favourite for the gold, Stanislav Chikayev of Kazakhstan. First attempt is double of what will be second, Boomlong 70, 145 kilograms for Chikayev. Kind of a fairly late starter to the world of power powerlifting. He was 30 years old only a few years ago. And has done very well in those short few years. In fact, this is only his second year competing internationally for Kazakhstan, a country with a, a rich heritage in this sport. And again, because of his recent start to the sport, just like when I was referencing some of the teenagers who will be uh, on show here, personal bests will be broken in almost every competition. 145 will be a new one if successful here for Shikayev. And a good lift to start his competition. And that really will seal the gold for the Kazakh athletes. He'll want more, though. Good start there. A whiteout for Shikayev. Montep Ponsal then. The second athlete in the 59 kilogram category, up to 59. And 147 is his starting weight. Based in Singapore. 
one of his motorbikes is Hong Sao. Idolizes Valentino Rossi. One four seven on the bar. Great control and measured lift. Gets an applause before he gets the white smocks and he gets two. Two out of three. That means a good lift and a good start to the competition. A little Usain Bolt. Celebration as well by Hong Sao, quite the showman. So Pong Sao successful at 147 kilograms. Puts him into first place in the up to 59 kilogram category. That can be changed though. Asanun, also of Thailand, 160 on the bar for his first attempt. Here comes Kasanun. PB of 177, that was back in 2011 at the Asian Para Games. Fourth in Rio, and we are on the road to Tokyo. This is leg three of five in this year's World Cup. Athletes have been qualifying since back in 2017. And Kasanun will have all his attention on what will happen later on in the year in Tokyo to try and make the medals podium in fourth in Rio starting with an attempt at 160 kilograms Slightly quicker with his left arm. No, no lift. A strikeout. So we have to go and sort out the issues. Press sequence was given by one of the referees. Three referees. One behind two either side. The referee on the left from my position would have had a, a really good view of the athlete's left arm was just out of sequence with his right so he might have appeared to be a good lift but it wasn't it needs to be in sequence just slightly quick no problems with the weight and the referees give their not only good lift or no lift but also reasons as well the green light indicates in the press sequence, which would be mainly due to not being as equal as other lifts we've seen so far. So Casanova will be back as we go on to round two. All athletes have three lifts. And we may be even a fourth lift, a power lift as it's referred to, if any records are going to be attempt. Apriwad Nan Nong. 
open the competition here in Bangkok with a good lift at 60 kilograms in the up to 54 category. The bar raised five kilos now, 65. President of Chiang Rai here in Thailand. Wasting no time. Big roar as well. No lift. A strike out for Nang Nong. Chess sequence from all three referees. So Nang Nong will be back. And again, more than likely an attempt at 65 kilograms. Staying in the category of up to 54. Bora Kiat, Boon Long. Crucial that athletes are comfortable when they get to the bench. All will have their own routines, techniques. And this junior athlete on his second attempt at 70. Big roar to start. Barely measured on the way down. Too sure whether he reached the chest. But gets a good lift. And a kiss and a wave. Well, why not? A white out there for Boon Long. Maybe a little bit of relief there in that smile and a wave. So his opening mark of 70 lifted. At his second attempt, he knows now that second is secure then in the weight category. And with there being only three and one category with two, it can become very important very quickly to get a lift in. And Nagel Pacha. Has that lift already. 70 kilograms. New personal best. For the 15 year old. And he's gone a full 10 more here to 80. So a bold move I think. Sure, he would have gone for 75, but nice and positive. And why not? Big events for the youngster. No lift for Nagopachia. Strike out. Press sequence. No problem with the weight. And deep in conversation with his coach. And hopefully the 15-year-old will be back and successful at 80. Only a couple of juniors in this session, both Nagopacha and Boon Long. But Prom, who is the second athlete in the up to 49, now, as I was referring to earlier, the fact that Uprom was unsuccessful, his first lift, 
He knows now that if he's unsuccessful here, then he's in with a chance of bombing out here at these championships and having a no lift on all three attempts. And he knows that Nagopacha was successful with his first lift. And it would cost him the gold in this category. Pause on the chest, almost a small bounce on the chest. But he gets a good lift. A good lift for Nagel Pacha. And that will secure him the gold. He'll look to kick on from that with his final lift. 90 kilograms, good enough for the up to 49 kilos. As we go to the top weight here, the up to 59, and it will be the second attempt for Ali Aldaraji of Iraq. 138 attempted in round one. Unsuccessful. Not far off his personal best, 143 kilograms. Set in the World Cup in Dubai also equaled that when lifting 143 in the Asian Para Games Indonesia a year later, 2018. So quite the starting weight, only five kilos off his personal best. Chatley has two minutes out of 50 seconds. Oh, slightly uneven once again. His left arm in front of his right. And no lift. Not only the press sequence but also bar control as well. Aldaraji with one more attempt then at 138. Seo, the only athlete so far in the category of up to 59 with a successful lift so far, 147 in round one. So he's uh, added a further six to the bar. Hong Seo, 153 on the bar. Kang Pong Sao go two from two in a category where he's the only one with a valid lift. Glances at the time left, plenty of time, minute 20. 
new personal best in round one. And he's not going to be rushed with trying to go further. This is his previous best, which was set in World Cup events in Hungary and also in Kazakhstan at the World Championships a couple of years back now. Taking his time. Hundred and fifty three kilograms. Round two here in Bangkok. World Power at Powerlifting World Cup, day one. Hong Sao. Clap from his coach. And a good lift. Two out of three. And again, another celebration. Fantastic lift. Two from two. Hong Sao, two personal bests. And in a home powerlifting World Cup event, you can't ask for more than that. But more than that is what we will be asking for, fully enough, because he's got one more attempt and he's already registered 160. So that will be a full 15 kilograms more than his previous personal best. Now 160 is still going to be the attempt of Narong Kassanun, who failed with his first attempt. So that's to come in the up to 59 kilogram category. Back down to the 54, and uh, Stanislav Shakaev of Kazakhstan, 145, brilliant lift in round one, 153 on the bar, for round two, gold medal secure in his back pocket, so 153 for Shikayev. This really will elevate him up the rankings. Looking to be one of the top eight athletes in each bodyweight ranking. Automatically qualified then for Tokyo. This will put him up to officially 11th. And a good lift. Two out of three. And Shikayev will look to advance further up that lift. That puts him now into 11th place. Just behind Ukrainian Panisuk. And again, qualification has been taking place since 2017. These five World Cup events Started in Bogota and then Manchester a few weeks ago here in Bangkok. We'll be in Tbilisi in a couple of weeks' time. And then the final event in Dubai. The last chance then to get into those eight places to automatically qualify. Maximum of one person from each country in each weight category. Total of eight men, eight women from each country as well. There will be 20 who will be going to Tokyo as well from an independent committee deciding those 20 but you want to automatically qualify and as much as gold medals here in Beijing uh, here in the Bangkok are all important qualifying for Tokyo is what many of these athletes have in mind Kassanon who in round two will Try once again at 160.
Minute left. A full seventeen kilograms below his best. Huge roar. Kasanon. No lift. One of the referees gave him the white lights. But the other two, the press sequence, means that Kasanun now has one more attempt. A bit of a wry smile there from the athlete towards one of the referees. He knew it was close. But he's got one more attempt at 160. Hong Seo, two from two in that category. We'll be watching on with great interest. As we complete round two and go on to our final round of lifts. Up to 54 kilograms and Aparat Nang Nong. Second attempt at 65 kilograms. Great experience for these young athletes competing on home soil at a World Cup event. Slightly unsteady as well. Balance not quite right. Bar control, certainly one of the issues there on the no lift. Bar control also press sequence. And a strike out. For Nang Nong. So he'll look back on the competition and a successful first round lift of 60 kilograms. That couldn't be bettered. And he will finish third in the up to 54 kilogram category. Medal places have been assured here. Rakyat Boonlong, who in round two lifted 70 kilograms. 75 is on the bar, secure with a not only silver medal in the seniors, but also the only junior in this weight category. Can we get a good lift from Boon Long? Also a wave to the camera as well. A couple of great celebrations so far. Round three, 75 kilograms. No lift. Chest sequence. Just sunk into the chest, the bar. So two referees out of three, given a no lift. But he'll look back. On the competition, I'm sure with Fondens, a 70 kilogram lift in round two, winning the silver medal and securing a good lift, which means he'll also get 
the top junior medal in that category. The two final lifts then in the up to 49 kilogram category. Nagol Pacha. First round lift of 70. All 10 kilograms more in round two. 80 was unsuccessful. Now again with the 80 kilograms. Only 15, remember. That 70 personal best. Can he go 10 more? This will be some performance from the teenager. And a good lift. What a great lift. And a great way to end the competition with a whiteout. A new personal best, 80 kilograms. And gets a big hug from his coach as well as they disappear backstage. Backstage, the warm-up area, a fantastic location in this hotel right by the airports in Bangkok. Huge area backstage where the warm-up area Plenty of precautions being taken at every single step. The loaders and also see the bar, the bench, all being sanitized between every single lift. The organizers here have gone to every degree of both cleaning, being sanitized. There's plenty of people here helping behind the scenes. It really is an event that's been put on to the highest of standards. And we've got a further couple of days of action. Delighted to be here bringing you this live stream commentary. If you're watching this live stream commentary, then do leave a, a comment below who you're cheering on, who you're looking forward to seeing. Do remember, this is only the third of the five events. We'll be in Tbilisi in a few weeks' time in Georgia. And then on to Dubai for the final World Cup event on this road to Tokyo. Jumyang but prom. 95 kilograms, round three. Huge roar again. And a good lift. Punched the air by the coach. He's delighted. And a bump gloves as well. Double thumbs up, and why not? 95 kilograms. Great way to end his competition, and he will take gold in the up to 49 kilogram category. Two successful lifts at 90 and 95. They're just the two athletes in the 49 kilogram category, but both with two out of three successful lifts. As we move up to the up to 59, again, three weight categories taking place here. At the same time, now Ali Aldaraji of Iraq, 138 kilograms, third and final attempt. Can he register this lift? If successful, could well be on for a silver medal. The three athletes, only one with a successful lift so far. athlete he would be looking towards a new personal best at the start of the competition that's not going to happen and he definitely wouldn't want to leave Bangkok having bombing out with three unsuccessful lifts 
He struck out on his first two. So he needs an improve here. Possibility of a silver. Again. Press sequence going to be the issue. And a no lift. He struck out in round three. And he's bombed out of the competition. Ali Aldaraji leaves with no lifts. And that opens the door for the possibility of a surprise result. Aldaraji then. No lifts for him in his three attempts. He bombs out. On out. A 160 attempt coming up. And then Kassanun, who's just like Aldaraji, unsuccessful with his first two. And he'll be watching Aldaraji's there and not wanting the same for himself. Now, Pong Sao is at the other end of the spectrum. He's delighted. He's two from two. Can he go three from three? Pong Sao, 160. A minute 30 on the clock, Ponsal will take his time, not only get physically comfortable in the right place on the bench, but also mentally as well. Get in the right place, get focused. 160 kilograms, he's two from two. And he has the potential of winning gold. Now if he wins gold here in Bangkok, through default from being the only lifter in this category to have valid lifts. He would like to then point at being three from three with his lifts and saying, I deserve that gold medal. Wrong out. Twenty-five year old smashed his personal best already. Hundred and sixty kilograms around three. Bar absolutely level. No lift. The chest sequence possibly didn't touch the chest. Apart from that, it looked to be absolutely A-OK, -okay, but he leaves with two from three. Highest lift of 153, new personal best. His coach there just signifying to him about his chest. But Pong Sao is now backstage, and he's going to be watching on with great interest on his fellow Thai athletes, Narung Kasanun. 160 kilograms. Struck out in rounds one and two. He doesn't want to bomb out of the tournament. We've already seen athletes do that. So this lift for Kasanun for the gold. but also to register a valid lift. Everything is on this one lift. Gold medal. Also registered in a clean lift. And not bombing out of the tournament. Fifty seconds. Uh, 
Was war nun? No lift. A strikeout for Kasanun, and he bombs out of the tournament. Press sequence from all three referees. So Kasanun leaves with a, a wry smile there. He'll be very, very disappointed of not lifting 160 kilograms. That means uh, Pong Sao wins the gold in the up to 59 kilogram category. Oh, fantastic results for the Thai athletes. Amonte Pong Sao with the two valid lifts of 147 and 153. Yes, wins by default, but he can point to breaking his own personal best and having two successful lifts from three. As we have one more lift remaining of this session. Stanislav Shikayev of Kazakhstan. The opposite here to Kasanun and also Aldaraji. Shikayev has had a whiteout on two lifts so far and he's looking to go three from three. 160. Here's the attempt. And if I refer to where he would then be in qualifying for Tokyo, a lift of 160 would mean he would join his fellow Kazakh athlete, David Degrayev, who has a lift of 160 already in the up to 54 kilogram category. That was back in Japan in 2018. Him ninth on the list. So not only battling to get into the top eight, but also being that one athlete from Kazakhstan in that top eight. There isn't anyone from Kazakhstan currently in the top eight. And a good lift for Shikayev. He goes then into that ninth place in qualifying for Tokyo. But immediately here in Bangkok, he's three from three, and he's the gold medalist in the up to 54 kilogram category. So that completes the first session of three days here in Bangkok. The men's up to 49, up to 54, and up to 59 kilogram category. Plenty more categories to come. Not only today, we have the categories tomorrow. The women start with the up to 41, up to 45, and up to 55 kilogram category. We'll just check the results here. Up to 49 kilogram for the men. And uh, Bumiang Butprom with the win. 95 kilograms. Nagol Pacha, also of Thailand, in second with a lift of 80 kilograms in the final round. The junior athlete in second. Butprom, though, with the gold in the men's up to 49. In the men's up to 54 kilogram category. Third place goes to Apriwat Nangnong. 60 kilograms lifted in round one. Walker at Boonlong with the silver, 70 kilograms in round two. And uh, Shikayev, we saw there, who was three from three, 160 kilograms. Great result to win gold. And in the up to 59 kilogram category, 
You can see bombing out Kassanon and also Aldaraji. But Anontep Hong Sao, 153 in round two. Two good lifts out of three. A new personal best, and he takes gold in the men's up to 59 kilogram category. So those are the results for the first three categories today. Medal ceremonies to follow. Up to 65 kilogram category to come later. And that will be at 5.45 local time here in Bangkok. So the stage just being set for the medals. So please stay with us on the live stream for those medals being awarded. And again, just to set your watches here, 5.45, the men's up to 65 kilogram category. And that's local time in Bangkok tomorrow. We have an earlier start, 10 a.m. will be the first session tomorrow. And it will be the women up to 41, up to 45, and up to 55 kilogram category. And then following on, the women up to 61, 67, and then 73 will follow on in the second session tomorrow and that will be from midday here in Bangkok. Two further sessions after a lunch break at 4.30 and at 6.30 at 4.30 it will return of the men up to 72 and then up to 80 kilograms for the final session tomorrow. So four sessions tomorrow one more today, 5.45 again the men up to 65 kilograms. Stage looks to be pretty much set. Wherever you're watching this live stream, either on YouTube, Facebook, do leave a comment. Also, take a look at the website. If you go to paralympic.org, you can see all of the results. Also, if you search for World Power Powerlifting as well, you can find all the results from the World Cup events we've had in Bogota and Manchester. A couple of weeks' time in Tbilisi in Georgia. And with the current travel restrictions, etc., for various countries, etc., you're going to have more athletes from local countries to those areas taking part and then it all culminates in the final World Cup events in June in Dubai where the final lists will be sorted of who qualifies for Tokyo Give some context of some of the lifts here today. We've seen Stanislav Shikhaev with those three of three and 160 kilograms lifted in the men's up to 54 kilogram category. Just on this uh, World Cup series alone, that's the highest lift so far. Axel Boulon of France lifted 157 kilograms in Manchester. So a very good standard there by Shikhaev.
Hong Sao, who won gold in the up to 59. 153. Below the best, uh, Juan Garrido of Chile in Bogota, 180 kilograms. Thomas Cure of Nigeria, 176 in Manchester. So the medal ceremony for the men's up to 49 kilogram category junior competition. No back home, Nagel Pacha with the gold medal and a new personal best, a lift of 80 kilograms in round three. Nagel Pacha with the junior gold. And again, a new personal best, 80 kilograms. Gold medalist in the men's senior up to 49 kilogram category, Bunyang Butprom from Thailand. Two good lifts in rounds two and three. Round three lift of 95 kilograms. Gold medalist.
Ryang Bukrom. Gold medalist. The men's up to 54 kilogram category. 70 kilograms lifted. medalist 95 kilograms in fact done him a disservice there of 25 kilograms but he's got the gold and he's delighted with the gold medal Thai national anthem I'm sure will be heard plenty of times over the next few days large contingent of home athletes Eighteen athletes from Thailand, thirteen men, five women. The next biggest team from Iraq who have eight. So now up into the uh, up to fifty four kilogram category. All three athletes with valid lifts. Stanislav Shikayev there. Three from three. The bronze medal goes to Apiwat and Nang Nong. First lift of 60 kilograms, enough for his bronze medal. Wokiat Boonlong, 70 kilograms, which was the weight of his opening lift. It took him a couple of rounds to get a good lift. Silver medal. Stanislav Shakayev, 145, 153, and then a third round lift of 160 kilograms. He's three from three. And he's a gold medalist for Kazakhstan in the up to 54 kilograms category. Stanislav Shikayev, 160 kilograms, gold medalist for Kazakhstan. And also 
in his attempt to qualify for Tokyo. He now leapfrogs a number of athletes and joins uh, Dakarev of Kazakhstan in joint ninth place, top eight to qualify for Tokyo. And it wouldn't be a surprise if Shikayev increases at 160 at the final two World Cup events to come in the next few weeks. Gold medal, though, here in Bangkok. Men's up to 59 kilogram category, the final medal ceremony of this first session. And it goes to Thailand once again. And Anom Tep Pong Sao, who's had a fantastic competition. Two good lifts. 147 kilograms in round one, 153 in round two. Failed at 160, the only athletes in this weight category to record a valid lift. But he was two from three with his lift, and he is a deserving winner of the gold medal. Pong Sao, gold medalist for Thailand. Pong Sao, not only in his home country, but also in his home city, gold medalist in Bangkok. So that concludes the first session. We'll be back local time 5.45 for the men's up to 65 kilogram category. We hope that you can join the live stream then. Make sure you leave a review at the bottom. Tell us who you've been watching, who you're looking forward to seeing over the next three days. And again, we'll be back in a short while, 5.45 local time for the men's up to 65 kilogram category. It'd be great if you can join us on a live stream.